up, people? It's your boy, 1-9. What's good with you? Chilling, chilling. Yeah, I know. I ain't ready to fucking vlog, man. I'm still putting my shit on. But that's all right, man. That's how we do. Uncut. Raw. Shit is real right here. So bear with me. I'll get this party started. Hot as hell in this helmet this morning. Holy shit, Batman. Alright. One thing I've been meaning to, to touch on is this, these, these new age parents. whatever reason these new parenting techniques teaching parents in my opinion the wrong way to, to handle their children I've never seen so much parent child negotiation in my motherfucking life when I was growing up, you got told what to do and you did that shit. If not, got your ass beat. So I say that to say this. Parents, please, for the love of God and country, beat your fucking kids. Beat they bad asses. Beat them. Don't abuse them, but beat they asses, please. I see another parent in the fucking Walmart negotiating with little Johnny and Jimmy. I'm going to choke the hell out of somebody. You don't negotiate with fucking kids, man. They need instruction. They're like, like puppies. Come on, Jimmy. Come. If you don't, then, then you won't get ice cream later. Well, what are you? No. Snatch his fucking ass up. See, right here, perfect example. Kids fucking running wild. Dad is trying to get control of this little motherfucker. Beat his fucking ass. Beat his ass. Beat him. Nah, he's not going to beat him. Almost got fucking hit by, by a car. Listen, you got to train these fucking children. Human nature is, is to be rebellious. You just going to do what the fuck you want to do until corrected. And it's your job as a parent to teach that child right and wrong. And let that child know there's going to be consequences for disobedience. You fucking negotiating with a fucking two-year-old. What? No, you're the fucking boss. Grab your fucking cojones and take charge of the situation. I see fathers doing that shit too. Like, come on, man. You're the ultimate authority figure in your home. Your fucking presence should be enough. You shouldn't even have to open your fucking mouth. You should just be able to give them the eyeball. And they know what time it is. You sitting in there negotiating, fucking trying to bribe your kids and shit? Nah. Listen. Don't fucking. What do you want for dinner, little? No, you fucking going eat with you, what will we serve you for dinner? Give these fucking kids too many choices. The only choice is to be obedient. So they fucking turn 18 years old and they make their own decisions. They do whatever the fuck they want to do. That's why all these fucking kids are out of control. These fucking teenagers and shit. Parents can't control them. They call in the fucking police because because little Johnny's fucking out of control. Beat his fucking ass. Yeah, violence isn't always the answer, but sometimes it is. 
I'm not talking about abuse. I'm talking about discipline. Little Johnny is two years old, and he's acting up. Pop his little ass on his hands. That'll teach him. Don't do that shit again. Because, see, when you negotiate with a child... And you can't, you can't assert your authority over him in any way, shape, or form. And nothing that you're offering this child is going to appease him or her. Then what do you do? Right. Exactly. Being stuck. Let that child know that, you know what I'm saying? You're either going to do this or you're going to get an ass whooping. Don't threaten the ass whooping and don't give one. If you tell that kid he's going to get an ass whooping... He better get that ass whooping. Because if not, he's going to start calling your bluff. Stop being so fucking scared to put your hands on your kids. Stop being scared of CPS. CPS ain't going to raise your fucking kids. CPS can suck my dick. They can get these nuts. Fuck them. Listen, I got beat. I turned out just fine. I beat my fucking kids. They turned out just fine. I take my kids to the fucking restaurant when they were kids. They sitting there like, like little angels, like little fucking soldiers. And people would come up to the, to the table and say, Oh my God, your kids are so well behaved. I can't believe they're sitting there so quietly. My kids would be all over the place, jumping on tables. Well, guess what? Now, why they're so well behaved? They're not special. They wasn't born that way. They know they're gonna get an ass whooping if they don't. You condition them. And once you're conditioned, you ain't gonna have no more trouble out of them. They get one or two good ass whoopings, and that's that. Unless there's something wrong with them. I mean, yeah, obviously, if they've got a mental condition. I'm not talking about fucking ADD. Stop using that shit as an excuse. All kids got ADD. No, no kids are focused. Stop putting your fucking kids on Ritalin. Stop doping them up. Just fucking beat their ass. Stop making excuses. Oh, he's got ADD. But that's just your excuse not to take responsibility as a parent. Because you can't control little Jimmy and Johnny. Because you're scared to whoop his ass. And you got no other other recourse. Because he's not interested in that fucking ice cream cone you're offering him if he behaves himself. Listen, fear and intimidation. I'm sorry, man. That's the way. That's the way to compliance. The government uses it. If you don't obey this speed limit, guess what? This is going to be a consequence. Yeah, it's going to get a ticket. We're going to get it in your fucking pockets. It's the same fucking principle. Where there's no fear and intimidation, then there's fucking lawlessness. How do you think a shipper could make you give up your car keys? Because he puts a fucking gun in your mouth. Now you understand what that means. So you're compliant. Same thing with children. You got to make them feel your authority. Not not scare you like when you when they see you come and they, they fucking pee on themselves. But a reverent fear. You got to balance it. I beat my fucking kids, but I hug him and kiss him too. There's a balance. They know I love them. We got an understanding. I'm daddy. I'm in fucking charge. I say you do it. If not, there's going to be swift consequences. It's going to be a foot in that ass. They understand that. I understand that. We all understand each other. Everybody gets along just fine.
Now my children have had their issues throughout the years, but guess what? I've never had to deal with disrespect, ever. That's one thing I got zero tolerance for. Ain't gonna be no stomping up the stairs, ain't gonna be no slamming no fucking doors, ain't gonna be no talking back. It's gonna be yes ma'am, yes sir, whatever's appropriate. And that's that, and keep it moving. We're not gonna debate about it. You can have your opinion, silently. You can go in your room and be upset. You could talk shit, but it better be under your breath. This shit better be behind closed doors. So I say all that to say this. Help yourselves out, help society out, man. Control your fucking kids. Because if not, they're going to take that same behavior into adulthood. And they're going to have no respect for authority. Because they figure they're going to either be able to negotiate their way out of it. Or just decide to be defiant because there's no consequences. They don't understand the concept of, of consequence. That timeout shit don't work. They beat their fucking asses. That shit works without fail. I'm a grown ass man and I still would never get sideways with my moms. And that's based on them ass whoopings I got. I still have a reference for my mother. Take it for one nine, it works. All kids are the same. Like I said, unless they got like a real problem, like they got some kind of mental retardation. I'm not talking about ADD or ADHD, attention deficit. No, fuck that. That's an excuse to, to put them on drugs and I'll and I do what you got to do with them. That's all I got. The bottom line is, get your fucking kids. Stop playing around. I'm out. DX1973. Like and subscribe. Instagram at DX1973. Peace.